Of the five dams on the lower Musconet Kong River recently slated for demolition, three still stand in the way of the river's natural flow. The Hughesville and Bloomsbury dams will soon be removed. Then the Warren Glen Dam will be the only thing standing in the way of an unimpeded eight-mile stretch of natural flowing river clear to the Delaware. The removal of this dam will be the largest project of its kind in state history. The size of the dam is an imposing 140 feet long and 38 feet high. Surprisingly, however, the dam's removal will be the easiest part of the project. 250,000 cubic yards of sediment have been unnaturally deposited for a one-mile stretch behind the dam. This amount of sediment weighs as much as the Empire State Building and can bury 140 NFL football fields under one foot of material. Making this project especially difficult is the fact that there is no access to this portion of the river, and the only option for sedimentary removal is hydraulic dredging. Pumping this sediment to a temporary aggregate recycling plant will allow us to restore the Musconet Kong's natural riverine character. It will also provide us with all of the soil necessary for the restoration of nearby land significantly disturbed by past industrial development. This five-mile linear stretch of river poses the largest, most complicated, and most costly river restoration project to date, but it's a small price to pay for its immense long-term benefits. Our vision is to restore wetlands that were lost to agricultural modification and create riparian buffers along the river. These buffers are necessary for the filtration of storm water runoff within the watershed and critical to maintaining a fresh water supply upon which millions of people depend. At the project's end, an estimated 150 acres of wetlands and deciduous wooded wetlands will be restored to their natural state and then given back to the residents of the state of New Jersey. As the property owners of these five miles of river, we are committed to working within a public and private partnership program on a solution that will greatly benefit the public. The costs associated with a project of this kind will be unprecedented in the state of New Jersey. Public and private grant money for these types of projects is frequently limited and will likely take decades to complete if this were the only source of funding. We have carefully considered all of the revenue generating funding options available and developed a plan that projects completion within three to five years and at no cost to the taxpayer. Funding options include selling mitigation property, mitigation for a large project, and some form of mitigation banking. These five miles of linear continuous river restoration consists of 337 acres that when combined with the adjacent 618 acres already publicly owned, will form a 955 acre contiguous tract of natural habitat. This will increase the amount of publicly held land by 55%.